Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Challenges we have, I think, in this job is when we have somebody really good running for office, and we only have ten minutes to talk to them. So, uh, but but you know, the FCC um, regulates so many of these things, so we're going to abide by that because we don't want to get in trouble. Uh, we have Bridget Smith in the studio, and my gosh, uh, you're not going to find some credentials better than hers. And 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 she wants to run for the Marion County Commission, so her credentials don't necessarily reflect uh, government, which may be what we want. She has been an operating room nurse for 23 years. My goodness. A direct commission in the U.S. Army Nurse Corps Reserves. My gosh, thank you for your service. The current president of the local chapter of the Association of Operating Room Nurses, a long-term medical missionary. I don't even know what that means, but you'll have to explain if we have a chance. The current coordinator for the Paul Chester Children's Hope Foundation. That touched both Robin and I. Uh, A two-time recipient of the Dr. Frist Humanitarian Award. And you are a candidate for Marion County Commission District 5. Uh, Bridget Smith. Good morning, Bridget. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You are amazing already. I don't even know <laughs> you, you, but I'm already amazed. And, and Hagen, what is your relationship? I'm Bridget's uncle. Uncle, uncle, Uncle Hagen. Well, that's nice. He teaches me the Constitution. Is that right? Yes, yes. yes. Every He's- Tuesday night we have class. Now, isn't that... Now, see, in order to do medical... I've, I've said this a hundred times. Doctors have to take a test in order to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. Lawyers have to take a test in order to be a lawyer. Right. Right? I think anybody in government should have to take a test, and it should be based on the Constitution. I agree, because once they're elected, they take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States, and, and some of them don't know the first thing about absolutely. it. Absolutely. And isn't this something we should be holding... Uh, Accountable. Yeah. They should have something on their wall that says, yes, I passed the Constitution test or I something. Agree. So you could pass it. Thanks to Uncle Hagen. Uh, I'm, I'm getting there. It, it's a lot, and, it, and it's it's a lot to take in. But you, you know, we're you've, learning it. just by knowing your background, you've already demonstrated your work ethic. So, yes. so thank you for that. So, uh, well, why did you want to become a county commissioner? Uh, because I represent the people. I'm just as frustrated as you may be, as the the people are. I out there getting petitions, speaking to people, and their frustration is so serious that and it, it it mimics my frustration as well. And we just need to restore the faith and trust back into the government. There is no what do, trust. What are, what are some of the frustrations specifically that the county commission could um, t- turn yeah, around? I've I've even heard the word out in the public as far as corruption. Um, misappropriation of funds. There's money being funded to, to um, certain organizations um, that... You looked at Robin. Did Robin get uh, some money? On account of... <laughs> no, I, I, I thought she, Yeah. Um, uh, there's one thing in free. The CEP, uh-huh. uh, we're giving $20,000 a month um, to that, taxpayer dollars. I don't know the public is aware of that. Um, I would just like to get in there and see what is the mission of all that, Mm -hmm. because it's a lot of money. We donated, as a sponsor to the Coates Golf Tournament, $250,000. There's people in Marion County that don't make that in five years. So there are things that need to be very seriously looked at that are misappropriated and cut those funding to put it where it's very well spent and needed. Wow. Well, very good. How long have you been in in Marion County? Uh, Four years. Four years. Okay. So there was one issue before you got here. It was the land bridge. Are you familiar with the land bridge? It, it's it's that bridge that crosses the I seventy five and, oh, and yeah. the county commission. The, the Florida Horse Park that approved bridge. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm not trying to debate it now. It's it's sure. done. It's done. It's said done. and done. But that was one of those issues that mm-hmm. cost a lot of money. That everybody right. said, why? Why, why are we right. spending money on that? Right. That's what I was. Doing. I want to bring back common sense to the commission. Common sense. So is there anything specific that you've witnessed in the past four years that you've been here that you would have done differently? There must have been something that make you say, I'm running for this office. And, and tax, because- tax paying dollars. I, I, there's just so much money going out. <laughs> I, again, that $250,000. And that's just one example. There's no accountability. There's no county treasurer. Our money, there's over 100 corporations that Marion County has money going into that we cannot see. And if I'm in that office, I we'll be able to see those records 
and and say be the one that says no we're not paying for that there's too much fat i call it fat should we be able to see those records should we the public should uh, yes, there we be should. like an internet transparency site or something there is something online as far as the finances but the corporations we you have to dig 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 it's just really? it's just a lack of accountability and to get in there and see that to be the one that holds the common sense and, and i represent the people and to say no we're not going to pay that that's it's not needed it's 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 the corporations get it's like a corporate form of government we don't run a corporate form of government it should be a republican form of government as guaranteed by the united states constitution article 4 section 4 listen to you wow i love that <laughs> good I job uncle that, hagan you know. well and then and furthermore <laughs> the florida constitution the florida constitution article 1 section 1 all political power is inherent in the people are you actually a grandma by the way i, I am I, a grandmother i have wow. a, almost really? a four-year-old sorry to admit the but for the listeners you just came out of the operating room how long ago I did. Uh, uh just driving here 50, 20 minutes Ago, 15 minutes you ago. were in surgery with yes. with a, oh my gosh yes. <laughs> yes now you used in in your on your website and robin printed it up so they could read it uh, that you would run the commission like an operating room correct i love what you said there yes. can you articulate that for um, the audience if you don't mind i will if elected commissioner demand accountability like i demand things in the operating room and demand competence like uh, for example when i do open heart surgery i literally hold a patient's heart in my hands for the surgeon and that's trust that's their entire being in My our gosh, hands and i really? will transfer that same trust it, it, maintaining their fiscal responsibility as if it's your tax dollars in my hand. And literally, it is your tax dollars in our hands. The five commissioners make the decisions of where the money is spent. It needs some accountability and somebody to represent the people. I represent the people. Why don't you run for president? <laughs> yeah. Why, oh, so, wow. And you feel the heart beating when it's in your hand? Is it? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. It's amazing. Wow. Well, it's amazing that, running for office as well, too. So is, is it really? Well, yes. well, I'm listening to everything you're saying, and you're pushing all the right buttons. Well, I'm listening to the people, and I think that's where the commissioners have lost. You know, when you become a public official, you have transferred from elector status to a public servant. I think government has lost that accountability. They are our servants. We are the masters. So how do you, how do you handle this argument? Because it's, uh, the only one I, I want to talk about is the codes. Not that I only one I want to talk about, but the only one that you've told me about, really, that mm -hmm. I can get grip my teeth into. Okay, so 250000 to the Coates Golf mm -hmm. Champion. Okay. And then they pulled out. They're not coming back next year. Oh, I know. But say, So let's say you're in the county commission, and this is turn back the clock and you're in the county commission okay and this is one of the issues that you mm -hmm. have to talk about and you're against it mm -hmm. you're against it and they're saying to you because this was the argument at the time no 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 this money will help bring more revenue we're going to invest it in this event and then more money is going to come into the county and therefore it's it's not a, an expense it's an investment how do you come for back that, to that for that you have to see tenure you have to see like hits for example they've been here for years they've proven how much money they have brought into this it's quantifiable Coates was not quantifiable you need to have a certain track record first to be able to do that okay and, and it's it's not the county commissioner's money to give you need to ask the people Okay, well, what about asking the people about a here, baseball stadium? That was another issue. You, you were here. That was I came with, just as just that was that going on, yeah. And the issue with that was not that the county commission d decided for against it, but rather they decided against the people voting one way or the other, hmm. if you remember. Am I right about that? Yes. Am I remember, remembering right? I, I would hold town halls. In, currently, the commission, when they meet on Tuesdays, it's at 9 o'clock. Most people to survive have to work and can't get off work to go to those meetings at 9 o'clock. Yeah, I would right, advocate right. for a variety. Let's hold in the evening one one month. You know, I would have an open door policy, flexibility, because obviously myself working and, and campaigning, it, it's it's about mixing life together and there and people to represent the people you've got to be there for for the people right, at certain right, times right. too. So um, be accessible. You have yes. to be there, you know, you are the seven servant days again. A week, twenty four yeah, hours. You are a day. their servant again. So, uh, anything else that you can uh, you want to focus on any on the education, the schools? Um? I am against Common Core. Okay, all right, all right. Period. Period. Yeah. The end. Any any reason why? Because um, I don't know they have about dumbed, it. Because it has dumbed down America. Look at the Constitution, for example. It has totally dumbed down America. Have you they have lowered the standardized testing. So uh, uh, I'll give a good shout-out to Dr. Heidi Meyer. She is on the same thing. She's running for superintendent. But dumbing down of America, uh, the standardized testing has been lowered so that they tout 
that they have ABS schools in Marion County. It's because they've dumbed down the standards so much. But so, that, but does the county commission have a say? I thought that was a school board. It decision. is a school board, but but they can lobby for certain things too. Uh, be a strong hand, you know. Mm-hmm. Y- y- when you're a commissioner, you know you do, you know it means something because you have been elected by the people to represent the so people. I don't get Common Core either, but when I was debating this, I was poor at debating this because I don't know enough about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And those who were for it, you know, were saying, well, Larry, you don't know enough about it. So I said, okay. Well, I, it's I, the I, left I, driving the narrative, and the left is constantly driving the narrative. Um, what about the, uh, let's see, um, f- fire and, uh, uh, and, and law enforcement? Advocate for the first responders. Uh, obviously, you know, I think the average salary of, of, of a of a police officers thirty two, thirty five thousand dollars. They just renegoti- renegotiated their contract with the firefighters, I think last this month, I think. Um, and it's never even going to catch up to where they need to be. These people are are autonomous in the field. They're given paralytics when they're called to a code. They need to be taken care of. So instead of spending two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the code squad train, maybe you should have given the first responders more of a raise. I mean, there's just yeah, common yeah, sense again. Yeah. Common sense. One of the complaints that I've heard, I have a, a nephew who's in the Marion County Fire Rescue, and he has shared with us, you know, that we've got good men and women working mm-hmm. for our law enforcement and fire rescue who are leaving for other counties that are That's not... That's correct. That, and, and actually, they're more rural than we are That's in correct. some cases. More rural, and they've got more money for their firefighters. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Wow. I, I, I have hired paramedic medics out in the field into my operating room as anesthesia techs and able to pay them better and give them more benefits. Does, does that mean since we have more people here, that we should be collecting... We have the taxes already, but what sounds like what you're saying is we're wasting that money. We're wasting, and, and they're, they're, they're going to the wrong things. Because they had the 1% sales tax that was voted They on. did, and um, I, I have a little difference of opinion with that because it was placed on a primary ballot, which meant that it was a close... To, you know, only Republicans and uh, Democrats could go to the to the polls that day <laughs> a lot of and my one of my big statements is informing and empowering the people of marion county some people did not know if they were independent and no party could still go to the polls that day and vote for that referendum so a lot of people didn't go vote that well, day. it just barely passed 55 to 45 percent bridget let me tell you something i like the word informing because that's our job our mm-hmm. job is to inform and I, we have seen this more times than i can tell you about it and if you don't mind me telling you this that we've had candidates in here and they love coming in here before the election. Mm-hmm. And then after the election, we don't, see, we don't them. see them. And I would always say, why don't you keep coming in? You are, it's an open door. First of all, the FCC has nothing at all to say about it if you're already in office. Mm-hmm. They have something to say about it now because you're campaigning. But once you're already in office, we want you. Mm-hmm. If you're elected into office, you have something you want the listeners to it's know about avenue. or the public to know about. Guess what? You come see us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we've got, we've got to listen. We've got a, what do you call it? An ear or whatever. Yes. A listening board or whatever they call that, that, that old board. saying. Yeah, sounding, sounding board. board. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I mean, it's, totally it's easy. Agree. You come in here and you do what you're doing right now for 10, 10 minutes. minutes. 10 yeah. minutes gets the word out. 10 minutes and, we, and, and then you educate us. That's right. And guess what we can do after that? We can talk about it some more yeah. once we know yeah. what we're Bring talking about. Bring a dialogue. About. It just brings it all to the surface. Yeah. And I'm a nurse and it's my the compassion and passion. Where's your me. accent from? Where's your? Uh, North Maryland. North Maryland. I'm okay. in, I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. Just curious. I talk fast too. I, I need to slow it down. No, I like the yeah. power. You've got passion. <laughs> You've got power. I like that. I like yes. that. Yeah. Um, you know what you're doing. Bridget, yeah. thank you for coming in today. Good luck with the campaign. Uh, thank you. You won us over just by your credentials, and now even more so. Can I say my, my am I allowed to say my, my uh, Everything. website? Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm, it's, not, I'm it's, not kicking you off right okay. now. Okay. It's voteforbridget.com, the number four, voteforbridget.com. And if you like me, uh, there's you know there's things in there to donate or to volunteer. I need help. It's myself and my family. We're a grassroots campaign right now and reaching the people. So please okay. visit the website. And, and, and spell Bridget because... Because I, sure. I spelled it wrong when oh, I tried sure. to do yeah, it. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's it's different. It's B R I G I T T E. Okay. So it's vote number four Bridget. Dot com. Okay, vote for Bridget.com. And uh, we will put this video online so you can share it. Listeners, if, if you want to support Bridget, you can share the video. I think it'll help her a little bit. Um, and, and good luck with everything. Thank you for what you've chosen to do you with your, your life. You are already a giving, servant-minded person. Yes. And, yes. And, and, and thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for that so much. Uh, and Hagen, good to see you again. Where have you okay. been? 
<laughs> well, uh, just uh, keeping at it, teaching. And uh, teaching. <laughs> I, I might add also, uh, you talked about the Constitution test. I have a 102-question test on the U.S. Constitution, and every public officer should have to pass it. I have offered it to the county commissioners. They don't want it. I offered to teach in the county commissioner's meeting hall. They agreed to it, and then they backed off and won't do it. So I think the lawyers are getting control or in too yeah, much control. That's crazy. So, you know. so, you know, are you familiar with the segment we do called Fun with Joe? No, I haven't. Well, it's a trivia game. Joe Martone will come oh, in wow. here in a little bit. We have fun with Joe. And every day I come up with a trivia game. Today the game oh. is this right here. Okay. It is, because 4th of July is coming up, the U.S. Citizenship <laughs> and Immigration <laughs> Services Naturalization Test. Oh, boy. Interesting. Yeah. That's going to be This tough. is hard to pass. Even I bet he could pass it hands down. Well, let me tell you who did pass it. Well, you could be a lifeline <laughs> if you want to be a lifeline. There you go. <laughs> Good one. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger passed that test. He sure did, didn't he? I talked to him personally about it, and I was very surprised at his knowledge on our Constitution that our people in this country don't even have. have. I think when you're an immigrant and you're serious about becoming a citizen, you you, you study, yeah. Right, right. I wonder how I would do on that test. So I just have to ask the question. I'm Alex Trebek here. I just have to ask the question. (laughs) That's Uh, a good thing. (laughs) Bridget Smith, thank you so much. Again, for the listeners, uh, voteforbridget.com is the website. That's the number four. I'm sorry? Right. And Bridget is B-R-I-G-I-T-T-E. There's no D in there. Uh, We will take a little break, and we will be right back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Own dry roof, you can, and we'll fix it right the first time using... 